Hello, my name is James Cunningham. Uh, I am Managing Director of Cunningham's Butchers at Food Hall in the heart of the Mourns in Kilkeel. Uh, I'm the fourth generation to uh, come into the business. We decided to expand the business due to the increasing footfall. Before uh, expanding uh, our, uh, and taking the plunge and building our new food hall, we did a numerous market research. I visited nearly a butcher in nearly every county in Ireland. We've had a number of changes in the business. We started very basic, doing very basic uh, small-scale sausage, burger, uh, red meat production. Uh, we've seen then uh, a growth in, in, in people you know, wanting us to push the range. Since then, uh, we've been able to purchase the property next door in 2014. In 2014, after knocking down, we were we opened up a 40-car car park straight away. Like, We've seen uh, an increase in, in, in footfall. We've added a brilliant fresh food deli, a hot food counter, a, a massive range of bakery products, and uh, our, our gelato ice cream has proven so popular. Uh, we have then the, the 60 seater bistro, which has been probably one of the biggest success stories of the, the food hall. We take our product development very seriously. All staff members are encouraged to innovate, to try new things, to come, uh, come up with ideas among themselves individually. Uh, we do regular tasting uh, of these ideas and sort of like a, a product development, the best ones, cream of the crop, get uh, put on display and, and we let the customer decide. Uh, we're seeing massive growth in the last 18 months in our extra lean range and our gluten free range. Customers are very aware of what they're eating now and it's definitely a range we're going to keep continuing to, to, to build on. Uh, we've developed uh, a new logo when we opened the new food hall. Uh, we always had a, a, a lovely logo but we felt with the new food hall it, be, it was the right time to change. We have a logo for our butchery, we have a logo for our Cunningham's Kitchen, the Bistro. Now, uh, our brand is very much established in the area and beyond. We set up our Facebook page before the food hall was finished. We have an Instagram page, uh, we have a Twitter page. In terms of finance and development, the whole building was uh, self-financed in partnership with uh, our local bank. In terms of advisory, I used NI Business Info regularly in the build-up uh, in my market research and planning. I would advise anybody who's thinking of doing any type of expansion, small or large, to really use NI Business Info as there. There's a wealth of experience from people who are sharing their knowledge and sharing their experiences. There were a number of uh, challenges we faced uh, throughout the expansion of, of our business. Uh, in terms of designing the shop, that was probably the biggest challenge. I was very uh, conscious of the flow of the shop, uh, incorporating all the different aspects from the butchery to the deli to the hot food to the ice cream to the bistro. Uh, customer experience is so key, so when designing that, I wanted the customer to be able to come into the shop, uh, naturally flow around uh, and go to where they want to go. In terms of growing the business, it's obviously been a great uh, personal satisfaction. In 2010, we had three staff. Today, we have just under 50. Uh, we've been able to become one of the main employers in our area. In terms of the awards front, we were, first of all, lucky enough to win Best Butchers in Ireland. Then we won, two months later, a UK Butcher Shop of the Year at the Farm Shop and Delhi Awards. Uh, we were the first butcher in Ireland to ever hold both titles at the one time and only the third uh, butcher in Northern Ireland to ever win a UK title. Recently we won uh, Best Retailer in Northern Ireland at the Business Eye Awards. We couldn't be any more proud of the team uh, and the customers because without them we wouldn't be able to achieve any of this. My three top tips to anybody looking to expand their business would be firstly do your market research, secondly Trust your brand, trust, trust your instincts and, and, and be brave and thirdly stay true to your core values, stay true to what has made you the business you are today.